jacket on so my stomach's not showing but we finna be at work for some hours this mirror is a little dirty but so i'm wearing something comfortable since we're going to be there for some hours today and trainings and meetings and all that stuff so i'm taking y'all along with me again today so let's go oh you guys so really quick um because i'm about to get head get on the road and um i don't want to be late to work i got me a funko pop you guys um i've been wanting one um my brother's brother mm, my boyfriend's brother actually has a collection of funko pops and i've been wanting like the stitch one i want the uh, princess jasmine one it's a couple of like different characters that i want um but i finally got one so this is my very first one this is the summer stitch i got this off amazon because i couldn't find it anywhere else um and it actually sm i don't i don't actually know what the scent <coughs> excuse me i don't actually know what the scent is but it smells really good and as you guys can see it says special edition right here and then it says scented so this is going to my desk today and i just want to like make like last year i feel like my desk wasn't me so this year i'm big on creating my own space as a teacher at work so um, I just wanted to make some things like look nice and you know calming and make me feel like I'm not Just at work, but I'm also like around the things that I like and the things that I love But I'm getting ready to get on the road So I will come back and talk to y'all when I get to work Um, sometime like I said, I'll be in trainings all day So I don't really know when exactly I'll be able to pick up the camera Um, but I do know I'm gonna stop at McDonald's or something before I go to work because I'm hungry So Yeah <laughs> Hi, how are you? Um, can I get sleep? Thank you. Thank you. Alright you guys, so finally have my camera in my classroom. So I'm able to show you guys what it all looks like. I'm not really done setting up my classroom, but this is like what it looks like so far. So, um, first let me show y'all. I got a nice view of the field over here. I bought these posters from Amazon for business. Um, I think my mom purchased these for me, so thank you mom for getting those for me because this is a new subject that I'm teaching, which I'm super excited because I told y'all business admin is what I have my degree in. Um, but I just have this up here that says welcome to our class. I'm still working on this. This is like some border stuff that I had from last year that I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with. Um, as y'all can see, Good Goods is over here with the Lysol, the Lysol wipes, um, mask for the kids just in case they be trying to be a pull a thing. So my Miss Waters, oh, I forgot my mask. No, we put no mask because it's required. Um, I got this big thing of sanitizer. Um, thank you, Shamika. I think Sh um, Shamika bought some of the Lysol wipes. My mom bought a pack. Um, I think my mom bought these as well. Can't remember who bought the sanitizer, but whoever did, thank you so much. Microwave was already in here, but my coworker, um, I'm guessing he's gonna give it to me. So this is what I have here, y'all. This is my fridge. That I'm. This is like one of my favorite things so far. My dad bought me this one. So I just got a Pepsi in here. It's nice and cold right now. Easy to pick up and go and also I can um, use it as a um, I can use it as a warmer as well and I just got to get some chalk from out of my car because I can actually write on the front over here is like my buoy state I'm trying to do something with this like area right here but as y'all can see kind of like my buoy state area I guess um, I can't remember who bought these it might have been Shamika or my mom bought these so thank you guys again um, but this one just says success and it gives the, you know, it's a noun, gives the definition of success, determination. And I think the other one over here is leadership. And then I just found these at Target to kind of, you know, jazz it up. And this is actually a table runner. Um, so 
got that as well cut that out and made something of that so this is uh another wall i'm thinking about doing like when we do like our culminating events and stuff like that putting that on this wall to show like you know the teams that win or whatever because we're gonna be winning this year um the other thing is this wall right here so my co-worker that had this room before he already had the cutouts of the people's head up here um so basically it's like a bunch of business owners or like ceos and stuff like that like this one's rihanna right here yeah i can see that's rihanna and then this is what it says it's pretty cool um they already had this up here as well so i just decided to keep it you guys i was trying to go for like the black and white theme but it seems to be that um we're just gonna have some color in here as well because my business posters have color in it. So I was like, might as well just do both, I guess. And I'll just keep incorporate the black and gold because I graduated from Gwen Park High School. So we were black and gold there. Went to uh, graduate from Bowie State, black and gold there. So I feel like black and gold is just who I am. Um, so I wanted to incorporate that. And I feel like the plain like posters like the black and white ones that i bought are super cute that they can kind of like go with anything with the color or they can go with something else over here and then also i have my business posters oh hold on. also i have my business posters up top um and then i have some posters here so let me do a quick like 360 so my classroom is a really really nice size so this is what it looks like do 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 my coworker gave me this calendar thing, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then this is just what it looks like. So it's a lot of space in here. Um, my desk is over there. I'm gonna bring my other desk that my um, mom actually bought me and my chair that she bought me in here probably sometime by the end of this week. But I just have a nice whiteboard. And this is the whole um, smart board that I have. So. That's what that looks like. And then over here, it's just a chalkboard that I don't plan on using. And yeah, you guys, so this is like my room so far. I'm excited because last year my room was pretty much like, I feel like I couldn't like make it me. So, and then I'm excited this year because I put a lot of sweat and tears into my last room because um, it was so like, it was a nice space don't get me wrong it was a nice space but i had to do a lot to it to make it look decent so i'm excited for where i am right now hold on let me fix this so i'm excited for where i am right now with my class and y'all this is just me let me show y'all what i got on today I did kind of show y'all what I have on, but I put my jacket on because I was telling y'all because my shirt is like tied. So it's pretty much what I have on. Sweatpants. And then I have on my easy slides. So, but I'm just chilling today. Um, we're pretty much going over um, some trainings, and I need to be listening to it, but I wanted to show y'all my room really quick because. I'll be, um, you know, working the rest of the day. But y'all, this is pretty much my room. So everybody that donated, thank you guys. Um, anybody that purchased items, some people, so the registry was, um, it was kind of anonymous, except for the people that like actually sent me what they bought. So um, I don't really know everybody that bought stuff, but thank you guys so much for supporting because um, it's really necessary. These kids need, um, real support and just being me and who I am and seeing like the difference in how the kids are compared to like me not just graduating like not that long ago um graduated back in 2015 and the kids are like so different like we didn't act the way that some of these kids act today so I'm thankful for the time that I grew up because I feel like 97 pretty much I got the best of both worlds so I'm excited about that um, and just to be able to compare and then like being able to be able to relate to the kids and you know being one of the youngest teachers in the building so I'm excited to get the ball rolling like 
this is really cool like to be able to reach out to these kids and mentor them um even though like i feel like me growing up i wish i would have had a mentor um that like pushed me to do certain things but i had my mom in my corner so i was i'm good um so but i just feel like it's important to have relatable people in your life to be able to you know bounce ideas off of um to go through hear about people's experience and what they've gone through to be able to make sure that you are on the right path and so maybe like to help you not make some of the mistakes that they've made so i'm excited to be that for these kids this year um i'm still a little nervous about the whole monkey fox and corona thing but we're gonna get through it so um oh man my thing shoot hold on i gotta plug this up I forgot about But yeah, pretty much, you know, that's just what I'm doing today. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought now that my computer died. But again, thank you guys so much for those of you that donated and supported my classroom this year. Um, I'm going to try to use and make the best out of everything that we have because, again, it's very important to me to make sure that the kids have what they need because not always the county will look out for them. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited to, like, create some um fun activities and stuff for them to do and just do the damn thing like i'm i'm excited so thank you guys again love y'all that reached out and yeah so um i'm about to finish going through this training and then i'll probably jump back on and talk to you guys before i end up leaving out the building today and um yeah so i'll be back to talk to you guys Hey you guys, what's poppin'? Today wasn't too much of nothing. We pretty much like started setting up our classrooms. Um, I feel like I got a lot of stuff done today. So I'm not gonna have a whole lot to do next week. But I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that I did do today and then um, the stuff that I'll be doing next week. So I'm excited for that y'all. I have been waiting to set up my class um y'all y'all see this little like blemish right here hold on get close yeah like this little blemish right here it looked like i got hit in the face but i literally have a bump that's like under the skin All right, you guys, so I just got to work. Um, today, I think we're just supposed to like finish setting up our classrooms, which my classroom is pretty much done for the most part. I do have to set up my desk, which I'm gonna do that today. Um, but today's real chill. I think we're having like some academy luncheons. So that'll be today at 11. I'm just gonna be chilling in my classroom today, kind of just like reflecting and then getting some stuff done. Um, I need to finish setting up my Canvas classrooms. Um, I don't know if some of you may be familiar, but it's so, kind of similar to Google Classroom. So I'm gonna be working on that today. And what else? I have to finish some trainings online that I need to finish. But you just watch the videos and then it's like a few questions that we get those every year. So it's not nothing new. Um, I think I have like two more of those to do. And sorry y'all if y'all hear my fan. It's, um, I just brought all this stuff in here, so I'm super hot. Um, so I'm trying to just like cool down for a minute. And while I'm doing that, I try to come on and talk to you guys. Um, but other than that, you guys, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow is orientation day for the kids. And um, I think it's for ninth grade and any new students. So I don't teach ninth grade, I teach 10th grade. So I'm expecting to not have any kids tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of show y'all what my classroom is looking like so far. So again, I showed y'all my section over here. I added some more, I added like a college thing here, um, Innovate, and that's pretty much all the new additions that I added. I did put my schedule up here on the board over here and I have to update this because that still says June. 
Um, I finally got my smart board to work, so that's on. And as y'all can see, my desk and stuff, I have to put that together today. But other than that, you guys, that's pretty much it. I brought everything from home, so I don't have to go and bring anything else um, to class. And yeah, so every, pretty much like, I wanna say my classroom was pretty much done last Friday. But I did like add a few like finishing touches because I'm glad I didn't have to put paper up. That was one thing I was happy about. I didn't have to put no paper up, it was already in here. So don't have to worry about that. So everything was just literally putting my posters up and all that good stuff. So um, I think later today I'm gonna go to the mall and get like some work clothes. So I'm gonna take y'all with me when I go do that today. And yeah, so I think we're supposed to have a meeting at 9.30. But I don't see no link or nothing like that, so we'll see. What time is it? 9.17. So, but yeah, I'm just chilling. And um, I don't know if I'm going to come back and pick up the camera anytime while I'm at work today. But I'll definitely, like I said, I'm taking y'all with me when I go to the mall today. So, yeah, I'll see y'all probably. I'll probably leave here. Probably like 3.30, something like that. And I'll probably go to Pentagon, so. But yeah, y'all. I will come back and talk to y'all in a couple hours. So, we're getting ready to leave the mall now. I've been here long enough, spent enough money. Um, I forgot my validation ticket in the car, so I'm gonna have to go there and come pull back up to uh, Nordstrom on this side so they can validate my ticket because I'm not paying for parking because I've been here. So, but yeah, y'all. I got a headache too because I kind of waited too late to eat. And I think it's because I'm keeping this mask on all day. My body's not used to that, much, that used to that that much now because I've been off for summer. But y'all, I found me an essentials hoodie, a pullover hoodie, um, and it was only fifty dollars. And usually, like if you go online, like I be trying, I've been trying to get one. Um, it's not a. It doesn't have a hood on it, but it's a pullover, pullover sweater. But yeah, y'all, so I'm getting ready to leave out of here. My foot has been hurting all day. I don't know why, like my ankle and my foot. I think it's because I have on sandals. Well, I have on, um, what you call it? Flip flops. 
and I think I need something to have some more support on my foot so yeah but it felt good to go and do a little bit of retail therapy so I'm excited but I'm gonna go back to the car so I'm gonna put this down and I will come back and talk to y'all when I'm done So, yeah, I'm a little, oof, I need some water, I wish I am going to pick up this one. Oof, much needed. Okay, so my head is thumping. Thank you, car. But yeah, so as I was saying, so now I'm on my way home, so I can just go home and relax and chill. Tomorrow, um is orientation day for the kids but it's for only for ninth grade and new students so um i don't even know what the speed limit is right here but let me slow down um 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 what was i about to say sir do not walk in that street what are you doing <laughs> um so yeah the new kids are coming tomorrow in ninth grade but i don't teach ninth grade so I'm kind of just like, what are we there for? But I get it, because like I said, it might be some new students, so it might have to be there. I don't think I'm going to get any um, kids to come in my class, but we'll see. And y'all, today has been a day, because we were supposed to go to work today to finish setting up our classroom, which I'm done with my classroom. Um, I'll show y'all that tomorrow when I get in. But we literally have to, um, had, well, we had to set up our classroom and then we had to, um, then we were supposed to have academy luncheons, y'all. Why we get to 11 o'clock and they're like, oh, there's no academy luncheon today. And I'm just like, what? Like, that's not what we were told. So, like, it was really no point of people coming to work today. Like, I was able to get some stuff done, but it wasn't that much to the point where I gotta waste my gas, come all the way out here for nothing, you know? Everybody was looking forward to the luncheon because when, or how often does the school, you know, feed the teachers? So, um, so yeah, we, I guess we're gonna have it tomorrow or whatever. But, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like struggling a little bit because my head really does hurt. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show y'all my class tomorrow when I finish. Uh, when I get into work because I'm going to have to be like focused and ready and then tomorrow I'm going to take the time to kind of like get my curriculum and assignments together because um, the kids like I said Monday is the first day of school so I got the weekend and then that's it but I'm excited I'm excited to get it done and get through it I'm excited to go ahead and get started because I just want to see how everything's going to play out and you know if I'm going to really like it or not like I told y'all, I'm well. I'm not sure if this is gonna be my last year of teaching or if I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do one more year. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, you guys. Um, I bought a. Uh, so today I took the time to go to the mall and buy stuff that I need for um. That I need for work. So I bought work clothes and I did buy a few like items that. I just really wanted, which was like the essential hoodie, and I need another black denim jacket because the one I have is like real janky, 
it's too small and I need a new one so I got that and y'all it's a lot of stuff that I saw that I like but some of that stuff in there was like really expensive like I saw one pair of pants that I wanted it was like 118 and 119 dollars or something like that and I was just like mm, do I really want these they were cute but I feel like they look like something you would wear to work but then they also look like once I put them on like my butt was just like mm -mm. my butt was too big for <laughs> For the pants, um, even I could have got a bigger size, but it just I feel like the way it was cut and like the details on it, it was like not appropriate for work. Um, because it was like color color block, and the top part was black, and the bottom was like a tan color. So I was like, oh, you know, these are cute. Like, you know, I like the color block or whatever. But then once I put them on, like, because where the black stopped, it was given, like, booty shorts with, like, long pants underneath. I don't know. It was just weird. So I was like, I'm not getting these, especially since they're $119. If I don't love them, I don't need to be buying them. So I put those back. And, um, yeah, so. But I already knew the stuff that I bought from Nordstrom was going to be, like, up there in price. But it is what it is. I be needing some resale therapy and the stuff that I buy like it be staple pieces that I really need and then I also found these cute green pants y'all like the Bottega green um they were uh some pants that like flowy pants they were kind of like um flared at the bottom my butt looks so good in those but the back of them was um like where the zipper goes up first of all I don't know if y'all know but like pants that have like not a regular zipper but like the zippers like and the inside, I'm gonna show y'all the detail when I get home. Matter of fact, let me see if I got it right here. And I think I tried them on for y'all in the um in the dressing room, so y'all will see how they look on me. But I love how they look, like the color, the feel, all of it. So as y'all can see, like right here, I'm gonna have to get it tailored because it was already ripping. Hold on, let me wait till I stop. So the pants were like already ripping right here. So the girl, I asked, I was like, you know, can you give me a discount for this? Because I'm not paying $34.99 and the pants is not even, you know, working. And then I'm happy because like, shoot, I went into the store and let's just say by the time I got home, the pants would be ripped, you know? So like, I just paid almost $40 for some pants that, you know, I'm not gonna say not gonna last, but like the zipper is not even gonna last. So I'm glad I got them when I did. And I'm, I'm just gonna take them to the cleaners and get them to put, you know, make it nice so that when I do you or actually do wear them, then I can just zip them up. So, but y'all, I just really was trying to find clothes for, um, like it's that starting a new type of job. Well, not a new job, but like in a different program. I want to start dressing up more. I want to wear more dresses. I want to wear more like flowy pants and you know just be real girly and feminine and come into my real grown woman, you know. So. I'm excited for that and I'm really like a pants girl so I kind of opted for a lot of like pants stuff but I did find this cute leather skirt in um actually I showed y'all that in the um when I was trying it on in the store too but it's this cute like leather uh, pencil skirt like mini skirt whatever it was so cute I thought it wasn't gonna fit so when I was pulling it up it wasn't trying to go over my my legs and stuff but I was able to like get it over and it was comfortable like once I zipped it up so I was like okay perfect this is the size I need I was thinking about getting this bigger size so I was like no this is the size that I need and then plus the girl can lose a few pounds anyway so motivation but <laughs> um yeah so I'm excited I got some new stuff to be able to like work with and wear this school year because I'm gonna be 25 this year y'all like I'm really coming into my grown woman like really really coming into my grown woman and I'm excited <laughs> I'm really excited you know kind of like when you turn get ready to turn 25 people be like you know you almost 30 like another five years you'll be 30 or whatever but I'm just looking at like I got another five years to be you know the baddest the illest that I've ever been you know I'm not looking at like I'm getting older I'm looking at it like I'm getting better so that's just what it is um but yeah y'all i'm about to enjoy this ride home because i know i'm gonna be 
it is like a teensy bit of traffic because it is like time people are like heading home and stuff so i'll come back and talk to y'all when i get home or either tomorrow morning so bye y'all